The bad news is time flies. The good news is you are the pilot. There's a famous quote by Michael Atchuler, one of the famous all time motivational speaker of US. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. <laughs> time is precious. What we have positioned in our hand is 86,400 seconds in a day. How you utilize the time in your daily life, in your workplace, in all the actions what you do, it matters your successful journey in your life. What you ask me, which is the wealth, what is the wealth, biggest wealth I hold is time. The time can heal you, the time can take your journey into a successful career as well if you utilize the time well enough. How many of you know that what, is, what are you going to do in the next five hours? Can anybody see? Or in the next week? Or in the next month? Any idea? It's tough to answer, isn't it? Yes. So our life journey is dependent on how we manage our time. The person who spent 27 years in jail had an amazing story of successful story of time management, which he read books, which he write stories, which he interacted with his visitors, finally became the president of South, South Africa, the Nelson Mandela. What he said about time, it's very interesting. We must use time wisely for that the time are right to do right, right things. Remembering his quotes, let us evaluate our daily walks of life in time management. The day when you get up, you start your journey to the workplace. Everybody use time very well in your workplace. And we, we all have a different pattern of working, like whether you sit in your office or whether you sit in your dining table or whether you sit, sit in your train while you're uh, going to the office. So everywhere we use time management techniques, how to work and how to execute our daily work, isn't it? Some people love to use music when they work, isn't it? They listen to music and then they work. So that's, there are some people want to just switch it off their telephones. <laughs> they don't even look at the telephone, what text is coming, who is calling. They just move away from that, isn't it? They just keep silence and they work because they don't like distractions. So this is one of the very, very important factor when you come to the time management to learn that avoid distractions. If you want to utilize the time 100%, if you want to produce 100% of your productivity. So avoid distractions and work and focus on it and execute your work. One day, my GM called me and asked me, Santosh, you will keep telling that you want to buy a trailer. Why you want to buy a trailer now? I said, sir, we require it. It's very necessary for our daily operations. Okay, do one thing. You bring your actual figures and you bring your desired figures. I was a bit spellbound. Then I went back. He gave me a seed of thought. I just went back and I worked out the flowchart of what is actually is going on now and what I'm going to do in the next six months. So then I worked out, I learned that currently I don't require a trailer of my own. I can even like, take it on rental basis. Then again, I worked on the, what is, what I'm going to do in the six months. Then I checked my productivity in the six months. Yes, I understood that I need a trailer after six months, not now. Then I worked out both the flow chart I presented to the management. He said, yes, now you are right. After six months, we'll buy it. Time went by. Now we own a trailer of our own. 
So this is every time when we work on the time management skill, you have to use it. What is actually is happening and what you want to be in the next level. So you need to work on that. Every time my wife says, you are too work workaholic, not sitting, you are not taking rest. And when you sit on your table, you just sleep. I said, yeah, because I need some space also, isn't it? My brain gets a space when I sit on the table and I take a short nap, I get space. This is one of the most important factor in your everyday work, work you need to learn. You will be packed with millions of things. You will have millions of thoughts and you will be tired enough. Your brain will be tired. You don't have time. You are too much having busy schedules. So you have to give some time for your brain some space where you can take breaks. So if you don't take breaks, your time management <coughs> spoils everything. So better to go out with the friends, take your family to the movie or go to the park, just go to the beach side, spend your time and be in solitude sometime because just give a space so that you can recharge, you can re-energize yourself and you can manage your time well. One of the literature lovers guru, Shakespeare said, three hours too late, three hours too early is better than a minute too late. With this quote, let me tell you that if you cut the mountain, the, the biggest mountain of task into pieces like smash into pieces definitely you can manage your time well and time management is really life management over to you